How's it going there, folks? You know, we know KAKA, the Grateful Todd here, bringing you my third week of the One Night in Karazan Adventure. I apologize for this not going up on Thursday when it was initially released. I did record it, but for some reason, partway through the recording, it completely froze on me. I don't know why it did for that reason. So, I'm just going to redo everything in which I did it. And hopefully you still guys are going to enjoy it, but for Thursday, I will be uploading on schedule for the Spire, which is week number four, which features all the stuff, and we finally get a chance to rescue Medivh from Prince Alcatar. And let's go through uh, what happened in the Menagerie, shall we? Before we take the Menagerie, we shall fix it. Curator's gone crazy. Fix it. Alright, now I believe for the curator I used my new spell vamp deck. Alright, so. Just have to attack him, and I can't attack his so. stuff. is equipped for menagerie management. Right. Well, let's turn the volume down a bit. Oh damn! Oh god, what's next? This curator is a multi to the beasts. This curator was confused. You need to stop it before he releases everything. Oh god. Oh wow. There we go. Oh god. Since when does this guy play smart? I forgot. <laughs> okay. Drake. Okay, we got closer. Or something. Dang. Oh god, a dust devil. Oh my god, he actually pulled out the jeeves. That's the last thing I need.
show all the cards that you get for each boss at the end instead of going back and forth just to save time. The next boss in the normal wing is Nightbane. Alright, and uh, Nightbane's uh, uh, hero power in this and Heroic is the same. Players start with 10 mana crystals. And the Curator's power in uh, Heroic is the same as well, it's just those spells that summon those random things cost less and it's got armor, so... Alright, so since we start with 10 mana crystals, I used my Dragon Priest deck against this, so let's see how we do this time, even though the first time was really, really good. Hopefully this time that we do this as well, fingers crossed. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got Karn Blood Hook. Alright. Oh, we got Deathwing. By the way. Nice. That's okay. We'll set up a board first before we play Deathwing right away. Because I feel like he has some something to destroy it. Ooh, young grotesque dragon hawk. Okay, time for death one. There we go. Let's see what he does. Dragon Consort. Oh wow, that's a good play. Since when does he play smart? Yeah, no. Yasura. If he sets up a phone, I'll be angry. Just... Too little too late, dude. Now if that was Yasura Awakens. And it's that damage and we have a little This week wasn't actually that hard. By chance, per se. It's just, it depends on, like, how you perceive things. It's like, the deck that you use to battle the bosses, so. But, out of all of them, this, per se, may have been the trickiest, if you were to pick one, in heroic mode. 
So basically, terrestrial ill hoof's uh, passive is called Dark Pact. If only icky imps can damage ill hoof. So that's interesting because in normal mode, oh yeah, I use my warrior deck. In normal mode, the icky imps are basically these uh, one-one creatures that once they leave the board. They deal two damage to Ilkha. And that's the only way to damage it. So I used a modified warrior in heroic because heroic, the AKMs have two two. Alright, we wanna get rid of this. For now. Alright, good, 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 good. That's true. Alright, so... Ooh, Malkarok. Like, golden Malkarok. Yeah, I actually did that the last week. Um, what was it? Uh, Tavern Brawl got the free pack. Wasn't... It was bad. So I bought our old gods pack. Open golden Malkarok. <laughs> ah, Night Miracle got the whirlwind. I want someone more icky imps. Not that thing. Do that, and let's actually let's play armor smith, then do that. Get some armor. All right, and as you can see, it takes the damage. Oh my god, this is perfect. Many imps. He's an idiot. Corruption. Okay, so that's 10 damage. Nice blood hook. That's what I wanted. Damage you. Oh god, he got the dread speed. That's the last thing I need. And for some reason, they don't like attacking taunts. I don't know why. We just sealed it. Oh god. Ah, it doesn't work now, does it? Ah, no demon in your hand now, do, do ya? That's four. That's two. And we'll finish with Gromash. 
I can wait no longer. Are you good? And of course, the enhanced version of it, not only are they two twos. Right? Ah, there you go. And basically, in when he summons Kilrek, this special creature of his that has taunt, it's actually a 4 8 in heroic, so that's actually dangerous. While he just summons all these imps and floods the board just to kill you. So it's an alternated version of 4 here that you need to beat him. I just facing Nightbane normally is okay, and facing the Curator is fine as well. It's just he's just gonna be a bit more bulky and can summon his creatures more easily, so. And for the class challenges for this, for the recent uh, week three, they were Hunter, Mage, and Warrior. We're just gonna go through all of them. Of course, it'd be Warrior for the first. Hunter is uh, the card you get for beating this was the new secret that uh, whenever your opponent casts a spell, you can summon a fortune panther with a uh, spell. It's called the Cat in the Hat. No, we didn't get Cat Shark yet. Hmm. Let's do this. Alright. Ah, here it is, Cat Trick. Hey, there we go. And of course he is found as well. Where's my cloaked huntress? The one oh god. Well at least now we know we can't play anything from his turn, so. There we go. My turn. Ooh, that'd be good. Play like cat trick. Get a creature on the board. Ah, yeah. uh, here it is—the cat in, or cat in a cat. Okay, I guess his side is getting power shot. Snipe, so then this one's striking out of your face. Wait for it. And that's it for this class challenge. <laughs> You get the cat trick uh, secret that I saw, and next is made when you're facing Nightbane with him now. And this is actually pretty cool because the Medivh legendary card is in this, and that's actually a very cool card. 
because the card you get for beating this class challenge is Babbling Book. It's a. Uh, I'll show you when it shows up. Wait for it. I'll probably maybe show up now. No. Okay. That's weird. If it doesn't, I'll show you at the end. So. It's an interesting little creature. Uh, is it here? No, no, it's not. All right. There it is, the battling book. To the menagerie. This is the card you get for being this class challenge after completing the wing. It is a one mana one one rare and a battle cry and around the mage spell to your hand, so that's actually pretty cool. Okay, let's draw two cards. Let's see if we can get Medivh. I mean, nice. Medivh's valet. If you have a full of secret, deal three damage. That's actually pretty cool. Let's actually play Demented Frostcaller first. There we go. Several cooler. Mortlocker. Oh, that's a weird card. Well, it's actually a very cool card. You can combo with your guys. Uh, let's say uh, the obvious one is Sylvanas. Destroy Sylvanas, and then it grab control of something when Mortlocker dies, resummon Sylvanas, and then do the Sylvanas thing all over again. I'll watch this. Okay. Okay. Excuse me, you are on fire. <laughs> Listen. You want a spell? Well, I want to guess a spell. There we go. And then freeze you. Because why not? Oh god! Hey, thank you for giving me Malgos. Thank you, friend. I'm still gonna kill you, though. So fun. So fun. Ah. I guess we don't get to see Medivh. Yeah, that's okay. I'll show it to you that at the end anyway. Let me know what's not part of the swing. Ah, uh, we're driving. Let's see what Oh, Arcane Gem. Alright, let's end the show ride. Or sure, I'll do whatever you want to say. Freeze for no damn reason. Right away! <laughs> ah, goodbye, nice man. And for that. And now for the last one, Warrior, you get the weapon Pool's Bane. It is a, I'll show it to you. It is a, I believe, a 5 mana, 3 4 Warrior weapon with unlimited attacks. Got 3 attack for uh, durability. So unlimited attacks is pretty good. When combined with that Spellcaster Lady that prevents you from taking damage during your turn, so that's actually a good combo. And of course, this deck's a bolster deck. You can also use this against the Heroic Ill Hook if you want. As well, actually, so. Uh, okay, bolster. I don't protect the kings in this. Hmm. Pompous Thespian. An autograph. <laughs> I suppose. True. Sure. Really? Hey, got rid of that game boss. I don't like that thing. I hate that thing. Disgusting. I don't know. Oh, it's squirming tentacle. Oh, okay. Alright, let's go. Of course, he doesn't attack. Chicken. 
Uh, Iron Force Portal. That's actually for this week when the uh, fire happens. So. There we go. That's all time. There we go. So he's 2 6, and in heroics is 4 8. So yeesh. Top deck being of doom. Oh wow, we got the infernal. Ah, and here's the card to get Fool's Bane. Alright, so. Probably gonna have to bolster, even though I don't want to. That's a choice. Just to get rid of that thing. So that's a good thing. We'll probably do that next time. I want to see what forecast mean when we get next. Oh, that was a misplay. Steel life. Ah, good. Now we can test the iron force portal without have to worry about anything else. Nice. Ooh, a life spawn. Nice. That's actually nice. And I like that animation. Stop it. He just recovered all his health. Come on, what is this? Come on, you're not supposed to fight back. Hello? What's the point in that then? Eh, should we attack now? Eh, we'll find it. Maybe they have like an upgrade or something. That'd be nice. Stop it. There we go. Oh, Shadow Ball, I good. I hated that thing. My god, this is going by so slow because he hasn't summoned that many imps. Thank you. I'm gonna kill you. Here we go. That's two damage to you. Do more damage to you. Fly! 14. Good. Yep. 
And now we just win. to see what week four will do with the spire. I want to see what kind of finale thing they'll do. Nice. And of course you get the fool's bane weapon. Alright, so I'll just quickly back out. And of course, like I said, the heroic, I already explained it to you, not that difficult. Well, it depends on like the build that you've got. So right before I end this video off, I'm going to introduce to you the cards for this week. For the first wing, when you beat the Curator, you get the Menagerie Warden. It's a 6-mana, 5-5, five, five, common uh, Druid card. That battle cry, when you choose a friendly beast, summon a copy of it. So that's actually really good with the Beast Druid deck I have. And the next card, I believe... What was it? Hmm. I remember. Hmm. Oh yeah, it was Zubot. It is a 3-mana, three 3-3, three, three, common generic card. In Battle Cry, give a random, uh, one random beast, one random dragon, and one random murloc on your side of the field, plus one, plus one. So that's actually really, really cool. So, very nice. For the sum of that hybrid mix decks. And the next uh, class cards that, uh, get, that you get for beating Nightbane. It is Nightbane Templar. It is a 3-mana, 2-3, uh, common Paladin card. Win Battle Cry, if you're holding a dragon in your hand, summon 2, 1-1 one, one Whelps. So that's actually pretty cool. And the other card that you get is the Runic Egg. It is a 1-mana, 0-2, common generic card. With Death Rattle, you draw a card. So there are some advantages, like you buff it in Paladin, like Silvermoon Portal, or in Zoo, and that stuff if you want. And there are many different possibilities with it, just like Moros. And uh, what was the third? I'm just trying to remember oh, my memory. <laughs> God dang it, what's my memory? Oh yeah, there we go. Oh yeah, it's the Purify card that everyone did not like <laughs> initially. It's a two mana, uh, two, sorry, it's a two mana common priest card that sounds the friendly minion draw card. This actually has a lot of potential. So, actually, don't count out just yet. Alright? So, just give it time. Now. Alright. What was the other second card? Oh, yeah. It was uh, the Avian Watcher. It is a 5 mana, 3 6 rare generic card. Battle cry. If you're controlling a secret. Gain plus one plus one and taunt. So that's actually really good in the upcoming mage stuff when Medivh and the other stuff comes out. And uh, the, when you beat the wing, you get the Menagerie Magician, which is a five mana four four. It's an enhanced Zubot. Give a friend them, uh, random beast, dragon, and murloc two two. And then curator seven four six legendary taunt. Draw a beast, dragon, murloc from your deck to your hand. And that's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to show me some love and hit that like button down below. Comment down below what you thought of week three and what were the decks you used to beat it. What were your opinions on everything? And, uh, yeah. And if you're new to my channel, for me, enjoy our subscription and subscribe for more awesome videos like this one. And I'll catch you below. You know me next time. Peace out. Have a great day, guys.